Hello everyone, my name is Yang Longqi. Today I will share our paper, Scalable Automated Discrete Multi-View Clustering. This is a joint work with Zhang and Fang. Clustering is a fundamental technique being widely studied in various fields, such as image segmentation, gene expression analysis, image clustering, and text clustering. Many datasets in real world are naturally comprised of different views. These multiple views often provide compatible and complementary information. It becomes natural for one to integrate them together to obtain better performance rather than relying on a single view. However, there are still many challenges to multi-view clustering. One is how to deal with large-scale data. In practical applications, the scalability of the algorithm is crucial. Suppose we have n samples. For subspace clustering, the time complexity is usually few of the n. For spectral clustering, the time complexity is at least the square of the n. Another challenge is how to reduce the efforts of parameter selection. It's not feasible to perform parameter selection in the unsupervised learning settings. In this paper, we propose to address the above challenges with a novel multi-view clustering method. First, we learn a binary embedding for multiple view features. Second, to preserve the local structure of the samples, a graph regularization is introduced in the embedding learning. Our approach optimizes the binary embedding together with the clustering, whereby they can be simultaneously improved. To reduce the parameter selection efforts, we use the combination of data driven and the heuristic approach to determine the model parameter. This is the proposed framework. The objective function consists of three parts. We will introduce these three parts one by one. Before we go into the binary representation learning, first we we'll introduce the ankle based representation by randomly selecting M samples as ankles. We perform the nonlinear RBF mapping with the predefined color ones. The new representation Z is obtained. Traditional approach adopt exponential decay to learn the view weights. Now the main drawback is the actual parameter. The choice of the R is crucial for clustering performance. Our goal is to eliminate this parameter and automatically learn the weights of each view. Where no weight factors are explicitly defined, we introduce a novel form of the equation 1. The Lagrange function of problem 1 can be written as equation 2. Taking the derivative of equation 2 with respect to b and setting the derivative to 0. Once the alpha is said to be stationary, equation 3 could be considered as the solution to equation 4. Finally, we construct the binary embedding laws on the right-hand side. We construct graph regularization to maintain the consistency of samples in the embedding space and the feature space. Then we extend the regularizer to the multiple graph by the choice of B transpose L bar B, where L bar is the normalized relation. The third part is a binary color string, which is a lot similar to the K means. The first constraint C transpose 1 ensure so the balance the property of the clustering centers, which is the typical requirement of the binary embed.
we define our overall or productive function by joint optimized boundary embedding and local structural preservation and boundary constraint. We adopt we adopt alternating optimization to imperative update each of the variable. The algorithm is clear and easy to implement. Now we analyze the time complexity and the space complexity of our proposed method. Both of them are linear to the number of the samples n. In the experiments part, we select five large scale datasets to evaluate the proposed method. And we type seven state of the art methods of the baselines. We're taking clustering accuracy normalize the mutual information and purity as inflation metrics. From the table, our method performed optimally on all five datasets. The performance of our method has improved considerably compared to the second case. Uh, this is the TSNE visualization of the original single view feature and learned this great representation by the proposed method on a digital data set. The learned representation not only preserves the neighborhood structure of the data in the embedding space, but also mitigates the effects of the possible disturbance of the original features. We compare our approach with the two variants to verify the ability of the local structural preservation in the binary embedding and the effectiveness of the adaptive ways learning. As a result, we show the graph regularization methods and the view ways are more important. In a parameter sens sensitivity study, we show the value of the view ways alpha converges after a few interactions. For parameter B, our model is not sensitive to the value of that. Regarding to the parameters of the multi graph regularization gamma and the clustering loss lambda. They contribution they contribute to the gradient of B, which is relevant to the set of data set N. Well, we set gamma and lambda to one over N. We observe that the gamma and the lambda have sharp drops in the performance after a certain value. Intuitively, both of them controls the contribution of graph regularization and binary clustering, respectively. The corresponding part will be will dominate the gradient of B when the gamma and the or lambda is too large. It may lead to suboptimal embedding. Compared to k means, our method has a speed up of 3 times to 21 times. Compared to the online method, OPMC, our method is 2 to 7 times faster. And compared to the linear complexity, stop surface structuring method, LMVSC, our method has 
is 13 times faster. Running time of method, our method increases linearly with the sample size. Finally, our proposed method converge in a few often is less than 15 interactions. In this paper, we propose the novel large scale multiplication method benefits with the data driven adaptive parameter selection. Our method needs little effort on the parameter tuning, which make it suitable for practical large scale clustering applications. Thanks for listening.